स्टूडेंट माई सेल्फ एक डॉक्टर आर डी पाटिल हेड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जुलॉजी व संतरा एक आर्ट साइंस एंड कॉमर्स कॉलेज शाला डियर फ्रेंड्स वी डिस्कस अबाउट दी ऑनलाइन लेक्चर्स ऑफ क्लास एस वाई बी एस सी पेपर सेकेंड जू थ्री हंड्रेड टू बायो केमिस्ट्री डियर फ्रेंड्स ऑलरेडी डिस्कस दी two lectures of this paper in first lectures brief idea for the syllabus as well as discussion about the brief concept of the biochemistry in second lectures we already discuss the introduction introduction to the biochemistry why specific difficult or different definitions of the biochemistry already discuss and introduction of the biochemistry today is the third lectures of this paper in this third lectures we study or discuss about the unit number first that is the carbohydrate metabolism carbohydrate metabolism so in this unit number first carbohydrate metabolism we first known about introduction to the metabolism what is mean metabolism metabolism is the sum of all of the chemical reaction that occur in the living organism these chemical reactions are necessary to sustain life means dear students we simply to discuss about in your uh, bilingual as a marathi metabolism as a process hai ki ja process madhe sajiv pranana lagnari ji energy hai ti energy taiyar hone vegalya paddhati cha metabolic process ya pratyek sajiva madhe hot astat ta sajivancha body madhe asha prakar chi metabolic activity hun ti activity अपने शरीर ज्या वे शरीर में गरज अल के एनर्जी तैयार करने तैयार जी एनर्जी अल ती शरीरा ज्या सीस्टीमला जी एक्टिविटी कराएं तेस वे अशा प्रकार के दोन प्रोसेस होता मेटाबॉलिजम इज अ इन अ बायोकेमिकल लैंग्वेज इज अ सम ऑफ ऑल द केमिकल रिएक्शन दैट ऑकर इन द लिविंग ऑर्गनिजम सजीव प्राणियों के शरीर में होने ज्या सर्व लिविंग रिएक्शन आते ज्या वेग प्रकार से केमिकल रिएक्शन होता द्वारे शरीरा मधे वेग एक्टिविटी तैयार हो जी लगनारी एनर्जी ती तोिका तैयार करनी मशा प्रकार की जी मेटाबॉलिक और मेटाबॉलिजम प्रोसेस है वी इज द केमी मेटाबॉलिजम इज द केमिकल रिएक्शन्स इन द बॉडी सेल्स दैट चेंज फूड इन टू एनर्जी अवर बॉडी इज नीड दिस एनर्जी टू डू वर्क मजेच प्रत्येक सजीव हा अपने उपजीविका करना करता अन्न हा घो फूड फीडिंग मेकैनिजम अन्न घर ते जे अन्न है तो अन्ना पचन होता पचन होने मजे का दुसरे नसन अपने शरीर में एनर्जी स्टोर होने जी एनर्जी स्टोर ती एनर्जी ज्यास सजीव प्राणाला अपल वेगवेगे ऐक्टिविटीज मे डिफरंट कैंड ऑफ सीस्टीम्स इन द लिविंग एनिमल बॉडी दैट इज डायस्टी सीस्टीम सर्क्युलेटरी सीस्टीम रिपोर्टरी सीस्टीम एक्सक्रेटरी सीस्टीम नर्वस सिस्टीम ऑल कैंड ऑफ द सीस्टीम्स आर गिव द डिफरंट वर्क्स इन युअर रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम एट दिस टाइम दिस सीस्टीम टू डू वर्क्स आर रिक्वायर द एनर्जी दिस एनर्जी विल बी स्टोर्ड इन द बॉडी इज यूटिलाइज मीन्स दिस प्रोसेस इज मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टंट इन युअर बॉडी दिस मेटाबॉलिक प्रोसेसेस आर ऑल्सो डिवाइडेड इन टू द टू प्रोसेस और टू कैटेगरीज दैट इज कैटाबॉलिजम एंड एनाबॉलिजम मीन्स ऑटोमेटिकली द टू प्रोसेस एनाबॉलिजम इज द प्रोसेसेस इन विच द सेंथेसिज ऑफ ऑल कंपाउंड्स नीडेड बाय द सेल मीन्स इन दिस प्रोसेस रिक्वायर्ड एनर्जी आर प्रोड्यूस साध्या भाषे मे सजीव प्राण लगना एनर्जी हि तैयार होने हा प्रोसेसला एनाबॉलिजम मनत एंड नेक्स्ट इज द द प्रोड्यूसिंग और फॉर्मिंग एनर्जी बाय द लिविंग ऑर्गेनिजम दिस एनर्जी आर यूटिलाइज और ब्रेकडाउन 
मीन्स दिस प्रोसेस विल बी कैटाबोलिजम कैटाबोलिजम साध्या भाषे मे एनर्जी जी तैयार शहरा मधे तिचा वपर कर यूटिलिटी करने अशा प्रकार की प्रोसेस हि कैटाबोलिजम होती दिस इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ द एनाबोलिजम एंड कैटाबोलिजम दिस टू प्रोसेस आर मेड बाय द मेटाबोलिजम सो दिस इज अ स्पेसिफिकली मेटाबोलिक प्रोसेस आर क्रिएटिंग इन युअर लिविंग एनिमल बॉडी दैट इज फर्स्ट टाइम इज द लार्जर मॉलिकुल्स लार्जर मॉलिकुल्स इन कैटाबोलिजम कैटाबोलिज मेजर रिडक्शन इट कन्वर्टेड टू दी स्मॉल मॉलिकुल्स दिस स्मॉल मॉलिकुल्स टू गेट द एनर्जी एंड एक्सपेसली इन एनाबोलिक प्रोसेस द स्मॉलर स्मॉलर मॉलिकुल्स मीन्स द एनर्जी आर कन्वर्टेड इन स्मॉल मॉलिकुल्स द स्मॉल मॉलिकुल्स ऑल्सो स्टोरेज आर कलेक्टिंग द बॉडी सो दिस प्रोसेस विल बी कन्वर्टेड टू लार्ज मॉलिकुल्स दिस लार्ज मॉलिकुल्स आर स्टोर्ड इन द बॉडी इट इज कॉल एनाबोलिजम और फॉर्मेशन of the large molecules in the body it is called anabolism it is a two reverse process are seen in this diagram also as a this is a same specific way the catabolic uh, processes and anabolic processes in catabolic processes means energy producing energy are utilized glycogen glycogens are converted into glucose glucose are get to the living animal as a energy as same in anabolic process the energy is a storage glucose glucose are converted into glycogen and glycogen as a storage form in your living organism body at the particular time this energy are utilized so this is a specific processes in your body in a metabolic way human body are utilized it is a specific in your mouth it is also called a fuel in your uh, uh, stomach or liver is a energy in your uh, bones or leg parts also working it's called work and different kind of chemical reactions are takes place in the intestine it is biochemistry so this is a simple example to uh, fuel energy work and biochemistry is all combined to form the in our living animal body it is a metabolism process so about your clarification of the metabolism different types of the metabolism to turn or specific point your first units unit number 1 is the carbohydrate metabolism so we discuss about the carbohydrate metabolism to uh, turn this particular topics we first known about what is mean carbohydrates we already discuss about the uh, in your uh, first uh, introductory way by the biochemistry the carbohydrates are the probably the most abundant and widespread organic substance in nature and they are essential constituents of living things means the carbohydrates are the probably most abundant widespread organic substance in the nature we have utilized by the living organism Carb in, other, in another words carbohydrates are formed by green plants from carbon dioxide and water during the process of photosynthesis the photosynthesis process are most important in the green plants with the help of the solar light in the presence of the sun the photo uh, and chlorophyll pigments are present in the green plants this process are creating in a photosynthetic reaction by the production of the energy carbohydrates serves as energy sources and as essential structure for components in the organism means every body parts are in addition part of the structure of nucleic acid which contain genetic information consist of carbohydrate any kinds of the materials in your living organism body is in the form of the carbohydrates these carbohydrates also use the energy to do work in cellular respiration energy is released by the stepwise breakdown of glucose and other molecules and some of this energy is used to produce atp adenosine triphosphate the complete combustion of glucose requires the presence of oxygen and yields about 30 atp for each molecule of glucose however some energy can be obtained in the absence of oxygen by the pathway that leads to the production of lactic acid is the another product to get by the end product to convert the lactic acid to use the body to in your energy form the catabolic reaction that break down glucose fatty acids and amino acids serves as the primary source of energy for the synthesis of atp means in simple way 
carbohydrates is nothing but the formation of the energy in the simple form that is in the form of the uh, glucose fatty acid and amino acid this is also as a uh, basic units or polymers or also as a uh, molecules of the glucose molecule carbohydrates fatty acid also the lipid amino acid is a protein so these all kinds of the primary or basic molecules are utilized to difference for the body acts as a in the form of the energy for example some of the chemical bond energy in the glucose is transferred to the chemical bond energy in atp because energy transfers can never be 100 percent efficient some of the chemical bond energy from glucose is lost as heat this energy transfer involves oxidation reduction reactions oxidation of molecule occurs when the molecule losses electrons this specific process are creating in the carbohydrate metabolism in the carbohydrate metabolism metabolism this must be coupled to the reduction of another atom or molecule which accept the electrons in the breakdown of glucose and other molecule for energy some of the electrons in the breakdown of glucose and other molecules for energy it is a initially present in these molecules are transferred to intermediate carriers and then to final electron acceptors means nothing but way in any kinds of the processes the uh, complex foods are created in simple form and simple form molecules are stored or utilized to convert the energy form when this uh, simple or primary form of the molecules completely broken down to carbon dioxide and water within an animal cell the final electron acceptor will always an atom of oxygen because of the involvement of oxygen the metabolic pathway that converts molecules such as glucose or fatty acid to carbon dioxide and water is called aerobic cell respiration means this type of the processes are uh, carried on in the presence of the oxygen so this process is called aerobic cell respiration or also called the aerobic respiration aerobic respiration is nothing but the processes in it means to carry in the presence of the oxygen the oxygen for this processes is available from the blood the blood in turns obtain the oxygen from air in the lungs through the processes of breathing or ventilation in simple it is called the respiration so the presence of the oxygen is the process is carry on it is called the aerobic cell respiration so this uh, figure 1.1 are indicating overview of energy metabolism using uh, blood glucose is a these diagrams are showing uh, for most is the digestive system uh, the diagram indicating and next is the uh, liver so this uh, specific glucose from liver and also as a glucose from your digestive systems that is different parts which are eating by the food materials are, are converted to transport the glucose in buccal uh, in glucose in blood plasma this is a specific the diagram indicating as a blood capillary in blood capillary the uh, outermost wall is also called plasma membranes or pm so in the specific chemical compositions which are transmitted to the glucose in the cell cytoplasm cytoplasm to also convert pyruvic acid pyruvic acids also anaerobic uh, metabolism in a in a land muscles lactic acid later on to this pyruvic acids are uh, passes to the krebs cycle into the uh, mitochondria the krebs cycles are creating the processes to electron transports also aerobic respiration is takes place and is convert into the co2 plus h2 this in the diagram this is the first is the capillary in capillary blood capillary to process or carry on next is the cytoplasm in cytoplasm as a specific reactions and later on to the mitochondria the uh, uh, metabolism of the glucose is takes place in the mitochondria co2 and o2 is uh, to that is a uh, carbon dioxide and water as a uh, lastly to form and is uh, convert in the simple form this is a overview of the energy metabolism using the blood glucose so this is a uh, above, above most this figure or schematic diagram uh, we review represents in overview is a heart processes by the which glucose can be obtained by the body cells 
and usual for energy as shown in this figure plasma glucose is derived from the either the food we eat by way to digestive system or from the liver in the explanation of this upper uh, above diagrams this presentation this form by breakdown of this stored glycogen like glucose undergoes the metabolic pathway of glycolysis in the cell cytoplasm converting into pyruvic acid skeleton muscles often they convert the pyruvic acid to the lactic acid in this processes of anaerobic metabolism means in the absence of the uh, o2 however most body cell obtain energy by aerobic respiration in the mitochondria so this is a common terms uh, and metabolic processes in the body where uh, carry on as a specific processes there are the uh, seven processes which are carry on uh, also takes place in human body this process is the first is the glycolysis second is the glycogenesis glycogenolysis glycogenosis lipogenesis lipolysis ketogenesis this is a specific processes which are also depending to activity are creating by the processes of the carbohydrate metabolism lipid metabolism also as a protein metabolism in specific way so first is a glycolysis is a conversion of glucose into two molecules of pyruvic acid this is called as glycolysis in glycogenesis the production of glycogen mostly in skeletal muscles and the liver so this process will be called as a glycogenesis in glycogenolysis breakdown of glycogen yields glucose 6 phosphate for glycolysis or pre glucose that can be secreted into the blood means in liver glucogenesis gluconeogenesis means the production of glucose from non carbohydrate molecules including lactic acid and amino acids primarily in liver so this is a uh, four processes are most important in the carbohydrate metabolism later on this is lipogenesis lipolysis and ketogenesis which in next chapters we already discuss about the details in the lipid metabolism so about this topics are complete the first basic unit of the carbohydrate metabolism thank you